Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Jana bought one hat and two skirts, and we've got some different costs here. So the hat is $28.53, and the skirts are $15.88 each. So that's going to be very important to make sure we get the $15.88 each. So we just need the total cost in dollars and cents. So we could represent this a few different ways. So we can just kind of start with a hat. I'm not sure what her hat's going to look like, so we'll just pretend it's a baseball cap. I know it's not, but let's just visually represent that. So we've got 28.53. And then we're going to get some skirts. So I'm going to just see if I can draw some skirts. So there's one skirt. And this is where the trick is. I see the 1588, but if I'm not paying attention, I'll just add to 1588 and the 2853, but there are two skirts. So I'm going to have to double that 1588. So that's the, that's the one trick here. Also, we're just going to have to add this blind. There's no multiple choice answers, selections to choose from. So we're going to have to figure this out on our own. So there's my visual representation of what we're doing. If we want to represent this with uh, a strip diagram, it would kind of look like this. So we are looking for the total cost. That's the unknown is that total cost. So remember in our strip diagram, that goes up on the top. But we do know what she did buy. She bought a hat for $28.53. And then two skirts, so 1588 and 1588. And then finally, another way to represent this, if we really need to, would just be to put this into an equation 2853 plus 1588 plus 1588 is going to equal our, we'll call it T, our total cost. So let's do it. Let's add this, and let's make sure we line up our decimals when we're doing it. So we're going to get our 28, 53, 15, 88. And once again, make sure we put that 15, 88 down there a second time because she bought two skirts. So when we're adding decimals, make sure the decimals are lined up. Bring that decimal down. And once you do that, you just add the rest just like normal. You don't have to worry about the decimals once they're lined up and the decimals brought down. So 8 and 8 is 16. That's a double. Add that 3 is going to be 19. 8 and 8 is 16 again. And then let's add our 5. That's going to be 21. Add that 1. That's going to be 22. 2 and 8 is 10. 5 and 5 is another 10. So that's 20. So it looks like I've got two, four, five, six. So it looks like I've got $60.29, but unfortunately there is no answer selections for us to choose from. What you are gonna find is on your answer document, you're gonna find this type of griddable response. And so it's gonna be kind of split. You're gonna have this really thin line here with the decimal, there's no bubbles underneath that. You're going to have two spots to the right of it. That's your tenths and your hundredths. And then you're going to get three spots to the left. That's going to be your ones, tens, and hundreds. So we're going to get our 60, 29. So we're going to need to anchor this on our decimal. So we're going to put the 29 to the right of it. We're going to put our 60 to the left of it. There's nothing in the hundred spot that's fine. You don't need to bubble in anything. Don't bubble in zero or anything like that. You just find your six, bubble that in, find your zero, bubble that in. There's no bubble for the decimal. That's fine. Bubble in your two. Your nine will be down here and you are good to go.